let's consider another use case for a while loop. Now, you could use a for loop to say, create a menu. Um, but I'm gonna just sort of throw out this as a rationale, right? You might not know how many time, how many items you're going to order, let's say, from a restaurant menu. And most restaurants don't have any sort of explicit cap on the number of things you can order. So this is a maybe a reasonable place to consider a while loop. Um, so let's write a menu, def menu, and we're just going to call this and we're going to get input from the user. Okay, so uh, let's make a menu and I'm going to go ahead and use this sort of, uh, you know, this uh, multi-line string construct and choose choose your food. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know a better way to say that. Okay. Um, and we'll just say that there are three options. And um, I don't know. I like I like kimchi, and I like. Oh gosh, this is you know, uh, uh co coconut curry. I I don't know. Okay, taking way too long figuring out what to put here. Um, food, <laughs> other right. Okay, cool. That'll that's our menu. That's a it's a great restaurant that we have going on here. Um, so food item, we're going to get input from the user. Uh, so input, and we're going to pass in this uh, menu. Now, something I want to point out here, and I'll just demonstrate this. Um, well, no, I won't demonstrate this. I, I just want to point out that whatever, whenever you take input, you're actually taking it in as a string from the console. So in this case, we want to use numbers. It'll just make things a little nicer. And I'll just take in an int. Now, the reason we want to do this really is that we're going to have, uh, maybe I'll rename this. I'll say uh, choice. So food items is going to get the items we have and uh, kimchi, um, coconut curry, and food other, mm, delicious food other. And we want to return, uh, let's see, yeah, we just want to return food items, sub choice, and notice um, this is a one, a two, and a three, so we're going to want to take choice minus one, um, right? Our index zero is actually item one, so one minus one is zero. And we could, we could put in some bulletproofing on this, like we could say, um, you know, uh, if the number is greater than three, then, you know, throw some error, something like that. But let's not worry about that at the moment. Um, we don't need to bulletproof this, it's just a demo. So let's call this just to make sure it's doing what we think it's doing. Print menu, and if I run this over here, choose your food, one, and that seems to work. You could do it for three, food, other, cool. That seems to be doing what we would expect us to do. So now um, we're gonna just implement a, an ordering mechanism. So let's say we need, we need to collect our orders and let's make a, continue, a continuation um, 
variable. And I, I usually do continue and I'll set it to yes. So in our while, we can say while while continue is yes. Then we're going to append to our orders the menu item. It's orders dot append and we're going to just go menu and now if we stopped here and I'll just demonstrate this over in the terminal if we stop here we're going to have an infinite loop so choose your food one choose your food three choose your food you're gonna be choosing your food forever and uh, so we need some way to exit this I'll go over here and um, in my terminal uh, or really in any bash terminal you can do control C or control Z and that'll give you a keyboard interrupt and let's just clear that out so I actually want to um, I want to get a new value for continue on every pass so um, uh, anything else and that's going to mean that anything that goes into co uh, continue here, this continue variable, is going to, if it's anything besides a lowercase y, what we're going to see is a the exit condition for the while loop. And now we can print our orders. And, you know, this is just uh, orders up here where we've appended everything that we've chosen from the menu. So this pattern, um, it's, it's not an official uh, pattern in terms of, uh, you know, code architecture, anything like that. Um, but let's just call it the menu pattern. You're going to write a few menu patterns here and there, whether or not uh, you find it in, let's say, uh, uh, some kind of shell scripting that you're writing, something like that. It's just nice to have this format, an understanding of this format. You can use a while loop to populate a list with as many things as you're ordering or as many choices as you want to make. So let's run this and just make sure it's working correctly. Choose your food, one. Anything else? Why, yes. Uh, food other, hmm. Yes. And then coconut curry. And I'm gonna just, I could put no in here, but I could also mash the keys. And as you can see, we're printing out kimchi, food other, coconut curry. And that is a simple menu.